<laughs> I want to say. Give me your feedback. Give me your feedback. Listen, this was a great meeting today. Uh, we have a great appreciation and respect for Sister Beatrice Hayward, um, who uh, we are trying to get that name change to happen because she's actually under another anointing at this level of her life. And we prophetically speak that because it is true. And being a true prophet, I understand and I'm trying to get her to understand that God has taken her to places that she could not even imagine, in particular with her ministry, the anointing and the gift that God has endowed her with. All right, but today, as a part of her promotional and marketing arm with her partners and those that have partnered with her, this was an excellent presentation here at this annual Stellar Award weekend. We invite you to stay connected, uh, go to the gospel box, because you know, you can really rock if you get hooked up to the gospel box. <laughs> all right? And I'm serious about okay, that. Now, and that's dot com. All right? And hook, There you go. X, X. <laughs> all right. Listen, grace be unto you. Remember, whatever you do, whoever you do it with, wherever you go, and whatever you do, remember, if God can give it to you, it's not worth that. Praise the Lord, everybody. Y'all so quiet in here. Can we give a little bit of praise to God? unto God. Praise God. And I'm going to get on out the way and we're going to be blessed today. It's old, but it's ever new. But this is the song that's on my heart. Praise God. Oh, yes. You're going to give me some words so I can sound pretty. All right. <laughs>
this morning. No, it's not. Now 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 it's the empowerment breakfast that you, <laughs> you put on. It was a complete divine success. And I am such a perfectionist, which some people even behind the camera probably even have gained to know that I just like things done in order. But it's been said through the whole event as far as the diversity that was shown in gospel music. The, the unity of the artists that have come together. Most of us, even with me, I didn't even know most of them um, in person until today. This is the first time I've even laid eyes on them. We basically contacted, um, kept in contact through via email, and if they needed anything, I was there for them because that's who we need to get back to the root of. And I had Bishop Williams, because y'all gonna see this in future. But I um I had Bishop Williams, his artist, Angela, is it Missy Billups? Missy. Billups? Billups, I'm sorry. Um, was last. And the reason why I wanted her to be last is because she brought us back home to where gospel music should always remain. It's the soul and heart of it. And that is what I don't want the industry to lose. And I believe that that message was conveyed very very well through the artists, every speaker that went up to speak, and definitely in the end when Lady Tamil tore that prayer up. I was gonna lay down, but I decided not to though. But yeah, I was gonna lay prostrate, but I didn't. But um, and I held it together to the end. I got a little ugly at the end, just a little. But to God be the glory. That's the reason why I sang that song because He did it all from the finances to bring in every artist that was a part of this thing, to bring in every speaker, to bring in Dwayne Cunningham, who is holding this camera, <laughs> into my life for this day to take place. It's a part of manifestation, and as Lady Tamil said, restoration of what those who are pressed into 2012 shall receive for all that we have gone through. And I'm done. <laughs>